and ready to go so we'll be heading off to the trailhead soon all right join us on the west coast trail Obstacle. We're at Gordon River right now. We just went through the orientation and we got the ferry over as you saw. We're gonna go up our first ladder here. It's quite a beast. Um, All right, so we just made it up the ladder and we've had a little bit of a picnic here, but you can see just how crazy this looks. So we're gonna be beginning the, I think, eight kilometer hike to Thrasher Cove. This is supposed to be the hardest part. Lots of ladders, lots of uphill. Very gorgeous though. Uh, we have our spread here, a little lunch, luncheon. And then hopefully we'll have enough energy to make it there with lots of rest. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, we're coming up on our first landmark here. We're about three, past three kilometers into the hike. Lots of ladders and we've come across a steam engine, I think. They used it to haul logs all the way down to the beach. And I don't know how they brought it up. Uh, I don't know how they did any of this because it's a behemoth. And it's still here today and it will be for hundreds of years. friends we've made it so we're at the T junction going from Gordon River to Thrasher Cove so One we're gonna camp more kilometer. we're gonna camp at Thrasher Cove for the night and as, as you can see camper bay the sign here will be our next stop tomorrow so we're gonna show you some footage from Thrasher Cove and then we'll uh, take it back from there in the morning.
of the West Coast Trail. Just woken up about 6.30. Currently in the process of taking the tent down, getting all our stuff ready. It's a beautiful day out, uh, definitely. And we're off to uh, Camper Bay shortly. All right, the tides are low. All the critters are exposed in the tide pools and we're walking to Camper Bay. This section is purely beach based. So all we have to do is walk on level ground, try not to slip on the, the kelp here. And uh, we'll be hopefully to Camper Bay by noon. Coming up on some shipwreck parts here. This area used to be really bad for ships in the old days. We got some old rusted circular cylinders, maybe part of a steam ship. Who knows? Oh, one thing I love is these little tide pools. It's like a view into a, another world. Look how clear it is. This is just pure uh, fresh ocean water. across these um, surge channels is what they're called and it's just where the water goes up inland so you can see here how much of uh, a channel the water has created over time so we've got to hop our way across to get to there we're back in the forest uh, on our uh, kilometer 65 to Camper Creek Camper Bay and look at the condition of these boardwalks it's Definitely been well used. You can see just how popular this trail is. And we're lucky that there's no, been no rain for well over a month. Otherwise it's just be fully covered in mud, ankle deep. Day two complete. So we have our cable car here system here. That's prominent among the West Coast Trail. But the irony is that it's used to cross the river but it's so dry out here that you could quite honestly just walk across to the campsite and you'd be perfectly well off. But we're gonna use it uh, for fun, for the novelty of it. That's our campsite over there. It's a gorgeous day. Heidi's just filling up some water here and uh, I'll get the video of the us going in the cable car will be a fun one. It's cable car time. Camper Bay. Next stop will be Cribs Creek. Lots of ladders, as it oh, says in the book. Walburn Creek. Creek, not Cribs Creek, because Cribs Creek is 20 kilometers away. <laughs> Thank you. 
We are getting closer to Walbrand, and as you can see here, it's ladder after ladder after ladder. This is quite the interesting uh, journey, I must say. So we are past Cullite Creek now. We just did about, I think the book said, 219 rungs worth of laddering. Uh, this is all forest walking, so it's going to be basically the same as most of the footage yesterday when we were in the forest. But next stop will be Walburn Creek. Walburn Creek. ecosystem now tell us more about this ecosystem Heidi well this is scotch pine it's also very acidic soil and most of it's very wet and most of it's made out of sphagnum moss which collects water and then doesn't really decay it just creates layers there's lots of other fun plants here, like heather and blueberry um there's bunch berries and all these bonsai trees because they uh, can't grow very tall because you know Soil. All right, we are at the Logan Creek Suspension Bridge. Come join us for this amazing walk across a basically a canyon. This is truly the wild west coast Carmina Creek. Everything past that is wild Pacific Ocean. Wow, a lot of people on the beach here. All right, it's dinner time. So I'm gonna show you how we eat dinner. We've got our little can of isobutane here. There's a little- Pocket rocket. A stovette. Or something, whatever you call it. Little pocket rocket. Snap it on. Stinky. And we're gonna boil some water. And the water will go into a dehydrated meal. So we're gonna have Mexican style veggie bowl tonight. It's basically just dehydrated beans, rice, uh, corn and some spices but it's obviously meant to tide us over for the rest of the night and we're just gonna enjoy it out in this beautiful Pacific Ocean this is a finished product two out of ten. the Mexican veggie bowl Heidi says it's a two out of ten it's just very blue cheesy which I'm not a fan of well we'll give more updates on other food um, in the next few days Nathan putting his hard work up in the tree. We found a float and he decided to carve it. We also saw a whale, which was super cool. Just woke up from our sleep today here at Walburn Creek. And uh, this is the view we are greeted with upon opening our tent. <laughs> I 
We are off to Carmanaw Creek this today. I'm getting all the names mixed up, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll just be a beach day. We're gonna look at some tide pools. It's gonna be fun. I should add that today is day four of the trip. We have chosen to do eight days, seven nights. So day four, we're about halfway, just starting the halfway mark of the trip. And um, yeah, still got about 50 more kilometers to go. Coming up on Carmana Creek. And apparently, uh, a restaurant halfway about, about at the halfway point called Monique's is open. So we might stop there for lunch. Bye. Carmana Creek. Very exciting. Day four. Carmana Creek. Some of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. All right, so let's talk about amenities here. So each campsite here, you can see, although it may look like logs, there's tons of space to set up your tent. You have a view of the beautiful Pacific Ocean and each campsite here is serviced by Parks Canada. So I'll show you in a second here. All their outhouses, all of the campsites basically have outhouses that have covered toilets, they even have sawdust that you can put into the toilets to cover up the stench. So I'll just show you here in a second. So here we're coming up on an outhouse and I won't go all the way in, but you can see here, climb up a ladder. got a fully functional outhouse. A bit a bit messy, but it is serviced by Parks Canada. And one of the most important parts about these campsites is they have food lockers. So it's obviously to keep wildlife away from your food, to keep the scents away from your campsite so the bears don't come in the middle of the night. And yeah, it's really important that you keep your food dry keep your food away from wildlife and keep your food away from where you sleep. I don't know that there's no veggie burgers, unfortunately. And this is Monique's, a little pit stop. Hello. Hi. Um, they have burgers here but unfortunately no veg veggie burgers or gluten-free buns for us so we're out of luck here but um it's a really lovely place is a guest book that we signed and we're gonna be at the lighthouse shortly welcome to carmana point light station so we're just entering the lighthouse grounds here So pretty. I love it. We have one
lighthouse. So we were originally planning to stay at Carmanaw Point, Carmanaw Creek, but we've decided to move on to Cribs Creek because it was 1 p.m. when we got to uh, Carmanaw and we got to see some sea lions, some gray whales, some sea stars, some sea urchins. So we'll include some of those photos in the video here. I can see you moving. Wow, wow. Looks like to be a whale of some sort. I don't know if you saw that puff of water, but there's something there. You had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, 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 you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, 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 you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, 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 you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. We are at where are we? Heidi. Where are we? We're at Where are we, Nathan? Somewhere. We'll figure it out later oh, in no. the editing. It's pretty put, here though. Put it down somewhere. There's a sea lion rock all the way back there. Uh, tomorrow, like we said, we decided to shorten the trip a bit. We are going to Susiet Su Falls. So it's going to be a bit of a slog tomorrow. I think 14 kilometers. So we'll be uh, excited for that. But we are a bit tired, I must say. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, 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 oh,